So you have a YouTube channel and you probably want to get views, subscribers, and maybe even make a business out of doing YouTube. But you don't want to guess what's going to work, so you do your due diligence and you research on YouTube how to get views, how to get subscribers. You watch countless videos saying to make better thumbnails, try to increase your audience retention, and of course to model what works. And I know I've said this over and over again, and that's because these things are important and they do help your channel grow. However, in this video, I'm going to be going over something slightly different. I'm going to be going over some sneaky ways to get views and subscribers fast on YouTube. And these work especially good even if you're at absolute zero in terms of views or subscribers. And in total, I'm gonna to be going over nine different sneaky ways to get views on YouTube. And in this video, I am going to be mentioning some social media sites, but don't worry, I'm not gonna be telling you to use them in the conventional way that you're probably thinking. I've got some really sneaky tricks that I'm gonna be showing you on how to get views using some of these sites. So without further ado, Let's get into sneaky method number one, which is using Twitter to get views. And the way that this works is you sign up for Twitter and then you take your video that you're the most proud of on your channel. Even if all your videos on your channel have gotten five views, if you have a video that got 10 or 100 views, take that video as it's your best performing. And then put the link of that video within your Twitter bio and write about what that video is about within your bio and then put an emoji of a hand pointing down to the link. And then put the same link of that video into a tweet and pin the tweet. But you don't just want to put the link, you also want to put either a frame of the video that was really good, the video's thumbnail, or some kind of visual representation along with the tweet. Because if you just post the link, it'll just show up as blue text in a lot of places on Twitter. And what would be absolutely ideal for this is to take 30 to 60 seconds of the video, upload it natively as a video onto Twitter, and then say, if you wanna watch this full video, here's the link. And then pin that tweet up on your profile. And then just search your niche on Twitter, follow all the accounts that pop up, go onto YouTube, find the top channels, go to their Twitters, and follow them as well. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is start getting involved in the conversation in regards to your niche. Now, this simply means a couple things. Going into some of the top tweets that are popping up related to your niche and saying some clever and funny and interesting things. Now, what if you can't think of anything to say off the top of your head? Then what I recommend doing is searching a similar video onto YouTube and then seeing the top comments that pop up. And from here, these are comments that have been proven to do well. They got a bunch of likes either due to making a bunch of people laugh or just being interesting and intriguing. And then this will in turn give you a ton of ideas on what to put on some of these tweets that are popping up related to your niche. And any place you can add value is great as well. For example, if you know about a subject and you can add some value, feel free to do that, throw that into the tweet also. And then the way that this works is people will check out your tweet, they'll click on your profile, and then they'll ideally watch your video. Now, you're not gonna go viral doing this, but what you are going to do is get people who are actually interested in your content to start watching your videos, even if you're at absolute zero, then YouTube will start pushing your videos to a wider and wider audience, and that's how you go viral. Sneaky method number two is Instagram. And what you do is make an Instagram account for your channel, and ideally, in your username, put what your account is about, because with this method, a lot of times, all that's gonna show up is our username, so that's how we're gonna grab people's attention here. For example, if your YouTube channel is about dogs, make sure to put dogs in your username. And then similar to Twitter, put your best YouTube video as the link in your bio and then put some text describing it right above it, pointing down. And then go to the explore page of Instagram, search your niche, and follow all the top accounts relating to it. Then comment on around 30 posts per day on the explore feed and accounts that are posting within your niche, leaving funny, relevant comments. And again, you can go to YouTube to find ideas for some of the top comments that have showed up. And then leave your own versions of these proven comments on Instagram, get people coming to your profile, following you there, and then go into your YouTube channel. Sneaky method number three, is Pinterest. Now, I know what you're thinking, Pinterest, I didn't think this would be on the list, but it can actually work to get views due to the fact that Pinterest posts usually index quite well on Google, and we can start to get Google search traction to our pins on Pinterest and then to our YouTube channel. And all you simply do is you pin the link of every single YouTube video that you post to Pinterest alongside with the thumbnail of the video as the actual pin. And then you write an optimized description using as many keywords into it as possible. You can use vidIQ, by the way, to find great keywords. And the goal here is to get people clicking onto our Pinterest pin from Google search and Google images due to the fact that our goal is to index for those search terms. And even if we don't have a giant website to index, Pinterest already has one, rank good on there, rank good on Google, and then start getting traffic from Pinterest to your YouTube channel. 
Sneaky method to get views and subscribers. Number four is Facebook groups. What I recommend doing is opening up an image editor such as Canva or Snappa and creating a Facebook cover image with the name of your YouTube channel and what your channel is about. For example, if you run a car channel, you could say, I run the channel Viral Vehicles, which uploads awesome videos about cars. Or in the case of this channel, you could say, I run Make Money Matt and I help people make money online. And then also within your cover image, make sure to put the text that says this. Click here to check it out. And then once you've done so, all you do is you go to Facebook, you actually click your cover image, and then you click edit right here. And within this little text box for the description, say, check out my channel here, and then put a link to your channel right there, along with some emojis actually pointing to it to grab people's attention. And then you simply click done editing and save it. And then also make sure to put your YouTube channel in the link in your bio as well by clicking edit bio and edit details and then putting your channel link right here. And feel free to put all the other social media links you signed up for within your Facebook account also. And then what you do is join 10 to 20 Facebook groups related to your niche. Just go to Facebook, search your niche, and then click groups under the filtering of the results. And then start getting in conversations with people around your niche. And whenever possible, make sure to mention your channel, but don't actually post the link to your channel. And you might be saying, Matt, how am I gonna get traffic from Facebook if I never actually link to my channel? Well, the way it works is that by mentioning your channel but not linking to it over and over again, people are gonna start to get curious. They're gonna get interested about your channel. They're gonna click on your profile, check it out, and then they might see your banner about your channel and they're like, there's a channel I've been hearing about a ton. They click that, check out your channel, you start getting views from Facebook. Sneaky idea number five is Reddit. Now, the thing about Reddit is that a lot of subreddits don't allow you to post video links within their subreddits. And the way we get around that is to, first of all, sign up for a Reddit account and then join all of the top subreddits related to your niche and then put a post to your profile saying to check out your YouTube channel here for what your channel is about. Put the link to that, pin that post to the top of your Reddit profile, and then start participating in conversations related to your niche. And then people will come check out your Reddit profile and then in turn your channel. Now, this serves a couple of benefits on top of getting some traffic from Reddit. On top of that, you're also gonna be getting tons of video ideas for your channel. Let me explain. So when you go to Reddit and you go to any of the subreddits related to your niche, all you simply have to do is sort the posts within those subreddits by the top posts of all time. And this will show you the posts that have performed the best on those subreddits. And if it performed great on there, it'll probably perform great on your channel too. So take these posts, make them into videos on your own channel, and you'll start getting views from just those on YouTube alone, just by them performing great. And make sure to put those posts in your own words. Don't just copy and paste it onto your video. Make sure to write it in your own words while giving additional value as well, making it into your own video. Method number six is by using WordPress or Medium. Now this does take some time, but the way I like to think about this is by planting seeds. Every single article that you write on WordPress or Medium eventually ideally will start getting traction and then this traction can grow over time and people will in turn check out your YouTube channel. And I don't recommend copy pasting exactly what you say in your video, but instead writing an original blog post related to the content and then link and embed your content within that article as an example of what you're talking about within the blog post. And what I recommend doing is using WordPress and then using a host such as WPX Hosting, which is absolutely fantastic. You can find a good domain name by using instantdomainsearch.com. And then I recommend getting a good theme like the Astra theme and then using a WordPress plugin called Yoast SEO to put good keywords related to your blog. And you can use another tool called Ubersuggest in order to find great keywords. And essentially what Yoast SEO does is it helps your blog rank for those particular keywords and it gives you ideas of when to actually include those keywords within your blog posts as you're writing them on WordPress. Now this is a little bit of work, but that's why I said, think about this like planting seeds, like you might not reap the benefits right away, but a couple months from now, a year from now, those blogs can be getting a ton of traction and a lot of the top websites online are blogs that get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views and page views every single month. And the way it works, you start ranking in Google for particular terms, you get traction from there, and then in turn, you can send that off to your YouTube channel, getting traction there. It also diversifies your business, which is always great too, right? And I would especially recommend this if you promote affiliate products or your own product, like a course or something, this is fantastic because then you can actually monetize the blog as well on top of just getting traffic to your YouTube channel. Then it serves a dual benefit. You make money and get more views, win-win.
Sneaky method number seven is by leaving comments on YouTube videos. And what you do is you search your niche on YouTube and open the top 10 to 20 videos that show up and then go to the channels that made those videos and subscribe to every single channel. Then what I recommend doing is turning on post notifications and every single time that you get a notification that one of those channels posted a video, jump in there and leave a comment as early as possible. Now when you get the notification at probably some random time during the day, you're gonna wonder what should I write here? And unless you're super witty, you might not be able to think of something and that is where YouTube is going to be your best friend. All you simply do is you go to YouTube and you search for similar videos to that one, see what some of the top comments were on those videos. And like I said, this is kind of sneaky, write your own version of those comments on the video that just popped up that you're subscribed to. It's very likely that that comment will do great. Now don't just copy paste it, write it in your own words, don't steal people's jokes or anything, but use it as inspiration when you're writing your own comments. And this works especially well if you make your YouTube channel name related to the type of content that you upload. And by putting a picture related to the type of content that you upload as your profile picture. For example, if your channel is about trains, make sure to have a picture of a train within your profile picture and make sure your channel name is something like train zone. And then on your actual channel page, make sure you set your best video on the channel as the channel trailer. And also if you notice some recurring comments popping up again and again as you go through different videos, feel free to make a spreadsheet in a tool like Google Sheets and then within that spreadsheet, feel free to put a bunch of the top comments that have popped up and the number of times that they popped up. And then this will give you great ideas when it comes to leaving great comments yourself. And it might spark some ideas like what if I mix this comment with this one on a new video, it's probably going to do very well. And if you can in some way relate the comment back to the original video that you're commenting on, that's fantastic as well. Because at that point, it's gonna actually be related to the video that you're commenting on, therefore making it more likely to do great on that video and then siphon off views to your own channel. Method number eight is TikTok, but probably not in the way that you're thinking. So basically what you do here is you go to the audience retention graphs of your videos. I recommend going to some of your top videos on your channel, go to the audience retention graph and see if those graphs spike in any places. Now, if you don't see any visible spikes, then what I recommend doing is going to the relative audience retention graph, and this will show you where it's above normal, and that is what I recommend going to. From here, clip out 30 to 60 seconds on some of the top moments that have occurred throughout your videos. And then make these clips into a vertical video using an editor like PowerDirector. And if you can put captions or titles throughout the video to keep people's attention, that's even better. That does great on TikTok. Then upload these videos onto TikTok. It's very likely they're gonna do great because people have expressed an interest in watching these types of videos on your channel. And then simply put your channel link or the link to one of your best videos in your bio and then get views from TikTok to YouTube, boom. Sneaky method number nine is forums or Discord communities. And what you do is you just search your niche on Google space forums to see all the different online communities related to your niche. Join as many as you can with your email, jump into those conversations, start talking to people, and only ever link to your YouTube videos or channels in a place where it makes sense, where it's not coming across as spammy. You wanna make sure that it makes sense and you're not just gonna get banned from the forum. And this especially applies to educational type of content where people are trying to get answers to stuff. If you jump in, answer their question, and then say, if you wanna see a more in-depth explanation, I actually created this video, people are gonna be really grateful that first of all, you answer their question, and then they're likely to actually watch your video to get that full in-depth explanation. And then Discord is also potentially a good way to do this as well. Same thing as forums, but this time Discord has its own application and there's a cool way of finding discords related to your niche. And the way this works is you go to a website called discord.org and let's say for example, your channel is about technology. All you simply do is go to the search bar, type in tech search. And as you can see, there's tons of different discord servers related to technology or pretty much any niche under the sun. You just go into here, you click join this server, sign up for Discord, start talking with people, start giving value to people. Don't just spam your link in here, but just mention it where it makes sense and you'll start to get some views from Discord. Now here's a bonus way to get views and subscribers from YouTube. It's a website called Quora. And you simply sign up to it and start answering people's questions. People ask questions, you answer them, and then put your YouTube links in some of the answers at places where it makes sense. 
especially applies if you're creating educational content. And make sure to put your YouTube links in less than 25% of the answers that you do, with most of it being text-based. And also put your YouTube link as your website link. And I personally have done this just going into Quora right here and answering people's questions. I, and I've pulled in 18,000 views on my Quora answers just within the past year. Now, do you wanna know the number one promotion that you're gonna get when it comes to getting a ton of views on YouTube to your channel? Well, it's probably not something that you're expecting, or maybe you are, and it's letting YouTube promote your content itself. And so the number one promotion you're always gonna get is from YouTube itself, and that's because it can compound and increase exponentially as your videos perform good when YouTube pushes it out to a wider audience, and therefore you can actually go super viral and pull a ton of views. And if, for example, like a big website shared your video or something, you might get a ton of views off the bat, but going forward, unless your video performed incredibly great to all the people who came from that website, you might still not get a ton of views. And that goes for all the methods that I just shared within this video. So you need to make sure that your videos perform good. And how can you do that? Well, there's a couple mistakes that I see a ton of YouTubers making. So if you combine these sneaky methods that I shared with you within this video, along with some of the hacks that I'm about to show you to make sure that your content and your thumbnails and everything are amazing, that's how you can blow up on YouTube. Start getting some traction from there. Make sure your videos are optimized. Make sure the content's great. Boom. Because the tips I shared with you in this video will help you get that initial traction if you literally have zero views and subscribers. Take that initial traction. Videos perform great. Therefore, you can get a a ton of more views and actually go viral with your content. Now with most of my channels, I don't promote any of my channels anywhere. And it's just cause we produce great content along with optimizing it. I let YouTube promote it for us. And I've gotten hundreds of millions of views doing this. So how can you make sure that your videos perform great? Well, it's really just by avoiding a couple simple mistakes that most YouTubers make. And you can check out those mistakes in this video right here next to me. So just click this video, watch it, see the mistakes YouTubers make. Just don't make them and you'll probably get a ton of views. Check this out right here. Hope you got value from this. My name is Matt Parr and I'll see you in this video right here.